Hey folks, my name is uh, Abdurrahman Sheikh Abu Faris, and today I would like to share with you my new approach of real-time helicopter gearbox condition monitoring using instantaneous angular speed analysis. And what we have here is a gear crane system consists of a DC motor manufactured by Dayton that goes up to 1800 RPM and it is coupled to gear two stage gear system that has aluminum gears, stainless steel shafts and bearings and which coupled to the other side of the system to DG3 dynamometer generator manufactured by Megatech Corporation. The dynamometer provides load to the system so we can run the experiment under different operating or testing condition. The motor runs the system and we have here the silicon control rectifier that controls the speed of the motor. Uh, also we have here the optical encoder is coupled to the output shaft of the gear and the accelerometer here is used to measure the vibration of the system for comparison purpose but we for we are what here I'm focusing on the encoder signal and I wired the encoder to NI national instrument DAC, DAC board, data acquisition board. And in the computer here, I use LabVIEW software to analyze the signal. And I built my own code, which is a little bit complicated here. And the time is not enough to explain every single detail of the code. But the output shaft, uh, the output graph is a very nice and clear representation that shows the RPM on the y-axis and the number of teeth on of the output gear and just that the one under investigation which is about 50 54 teeth and here we got more measurements of the value of the minimum and the maximum speed and the index where the minimum and maximum occurs and the mean, the average speed of the output, the idler and the input shafts or gears. And when I run the experiment, it's gonna be a little bit noisy. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. So let me try this. What I did is I introduced uh, different level of damages on the uh, on the output shaft. I'll I'll, uh, I'll show it to you later on tooth number 24. So the damage, uh, the first damage was uh, was removing a little bit uh, material from the surface by scratching it and piling uh, for about 0 0.025 inches. And the, the results were amazing that the shows the encoder was really sensitive for every, even for teeny tiny damage. And it shows here the graph, the big spike you see here on, is exactly right on 224. And this is at a speed of 60 RPM. So I'm going to try to speed up the system and also taking, this is for only one revolution. So you 
see you see the graph pop every one revolution. So I'm gonna try ten revolutions average. So the graph even gets more smoother and more clear. Whoa, you guys see that? That's right on two twenty four. So let me try speeding up the system. So the RPM now is about three hundred fifteen. Speed is 315 RPM. Uh, you, can see, you can see the spike where the damage exactly shows the location of the damage while the system is running. So this is now there is no load applied to the system, but let me try to apply little bit load so and see the system how the system behaves. The load is a inch pound. Uh, now I'm applying about ten inch pound load on the system. And this amazing result here we see uh, the graph even more smooth. Even even when speeding up So even during the process of speeding up and slowing down, we can see the damage and exactly uh, be aware of any faults or any abnormal behavior on the inside the gear system. So hopefully I have explained everything and uh, please let me know. If you have any question, I'll put my email down in the description. And please don't forget to leave your comments, feedback. And if there is any question, I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, and also, don't, please don't forget to click on dislike or like this video. Thank you so much.